brush right now. So before I start, I just want to mention that I now have a Twitter account, which is at Oso Limitless. So follow me. Um, so today's video is about having confidence with your TWA. I'm not even sure if I could say I have a TWA anymore just because my hair is getting longer, which I'm very excited about. But um, I just feel that it's very important for me to have this discussion uh, just because a lot of my friends say, oh my god, you look so good with your natural hair. I don't think I could ever do that. And it's kind of sitting, I'm sitting here like, what do you mean? Like, you were born with natural hair. You did not, you were not born with weave. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, I personally understand when they say that they feel more confident when they have weave. I guess just because, I don't know, it's the norm. Um, like, I've had that battle with myself as well. But I'm just going to explain to you guys how I kind of got over this whole idea of wanting weave. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I kind of backtrack and I'm like, oh my god, I wish I had a weave. I want my hair to be laid. But I'll get there with my own hair eventually. Uh, so yeah, today it's just about having confidence with your TWA. So, first thing is first. When I first cut off all my hair, I was just like, oh my god. I told you guys in my previous video, it was kind of shocking. Um... And what I had to do was pretend <laughs> like I was confident. Like I wasn't the most confident, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of really nervous, especially because my texture wasn't the way that I wanted it to be. Um, but I'm very happy with it now um, that I've grown, it has grown on me. Um, but yeah, so definitely you're going to have to pretend. If you pretend that you're really confident with yourself, no one can tell you anything. Like The next thing I suggest is for you to walk out with your natural hair. So if you wear your hair out in different places, you're obviously going to get more comfortable with your own hair. And trust me, you will get compliments from a lot of different people, regardless of your hair texture. The more you wear your hair out, the better it is. And for me, I wore my hair out when I was in Waterloo. Um, it's bad that I didn't really care <laughs> that much about what people thought out there. So I just always wore my hair out, and that's what built my confidence for me to wear it around my friends out here in Brampton. Um, as well, like whenever I went grocery shopping or somewhere where I knew I wouldn't see anybody that I knew, I definitely wore my hair out. And that has obviously helped me build so much confidence that now I don't even have to pretend that I'm confident with my hair because... I already think I'm flack. You know what I mean? I'm sorry guys, I'm actually really conceited. <laughs> but I need to stop that. I'm trying to become humble. Who saw? Anyways, so the next thing... <laughs> so, the next thing that I suggest to kind of have confidence with your TWA is your posture and your attitude. If you have an upright posture, it definitely removes self-doubt. You actually have more confidence and it just makes you feel way better about yourself. And in terms of attitude, smile. It uplifts your mood, not only your mood, but other people's mood as well, people's mood around you. you dread it when you're out there walking on the streets and just remain positive because if you're negative, then obviously you're not going to build that confidence. You're not really going to move forward with this natural hair journey. The next thing is that you must dress up. Like, you don't have to wear, like, fancy clothes or anything. Half the time, I'm not really dressed up to the nines. But I do love, definitely, like, when I go out, I love to dress up. And it up, up plays everything, even your hair. It just makes it look that much better. Um, so, yeah, just dress up. And when you dress up, you actually feel way better about yourself. And you feel better about your day and what you're going to do. So, it definitely is a mood lifter as well. And finally, accessorize. When I had my short, short, like, my mini afro, TWA, I always had fanboy, like, big bougie earrings that's why I have like a lot of these now I have got a lot of headbands as well as I accessorize with makeup um makeup is not something that I always wear now but I love makeup so you know I kind of play dibble dabble here and there um but yeah just accessorize with headbands accessories berets um earrings anything and honestly it just plays up your whole outfit and your whole personality and it brings so much more to your natural hair so yeah guys, that's my video on how to be confident with your TWA. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and remember, y'all are secretly limitless. Ciao!